In this short video tutorial, I'm going to take you through how you use the formulae to work out the mean and variance from grouped data. And I'm going to use the example in the statistical manual on page 3-3. And what we have here in the first part of the table is a column which has the size classes for the animals. So the first is 0 to 9 centimetres, next is 10 to 19 centimetres, and so on. And then secondly, a count of the number of animals in that particular size class. So there were five in the first size class, 13 animals were 10 to 19 centimetres, and so on. So Here are the formulae for working with group data and they look pretty intimidating to many people. But the thing to do is not to try to worry too much about the summation formula here, but look at how the numbers are calculated and how they are used. So let's look at the rest of the table. To work out the mean, we first of all start by calculating the midpoint of each category. And this is the halfway point. So for the first size class, 0 to 9, 0 plus 9 divided by 2 gives us 4.5. 10 plus 19 divided by 2 gives us 14.5, and so on for the other two size classes. The next step for working out the mean is to multiply the count by the midpoint. So 5 times 4.5 gives us 22.5. 13 by 14.5 gives us 188.5 and so on and then we add those values up that gives us 1007 and all we need to do then is to take that number down to this formula here on top underneath we put the total number of observations which is 46 1007 divided by 46 mean is 21.89 now, to work out the variance, we're actually going to use some of those results. So you can see that that part gets copied in down here, except that the part on top is squared. So that last part there, here is 1007 squared divided by 46. The next thing we need to do is work out the last column in our table over here. And this is just the frequency, the count, times the midpoint squared. So if we look at the bottom row, we've got 11 times 34.5 squared. So, over here to the calculator, 11 times 34.5 times 34.5 equals 13092.75, the value we've got there. And for the top, it's 5 times 4.5 squared work those numbers out, add them up, and that gives us a large number, but that large number gets plugged in here, and then we simply divide by the number of observations, 46, take away 1, and that gives us the variance.